Welcome, welcome to the show. It is me, it is me, your girl, Labora Lee. And we have some things to talk about. <clears throat> I mean, really, we have some things to talk about. So on Friday, it was a great, great night. It was a great look. Um, but I wasn't able to give y'all the commentary that I wanted to give give you guys. So I'm going to do that this evening. But what you need to know is today is Wet Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Today is the day where we talk about whatever the fuck is on our minds. We're just going to talk about it. But today we have a specific topic. Um, so we're going to get to it. Um, but before I get around to all of that, I do have to play this brief commercial. So bear with the girl. Bear with me. Want last minute brand design help? Get top tier Fiverr freelance creatives at your fingertips fast with secure payments and 24-7 support. Head to Fiverr.com today and get something started. All right, y'all, I'm trying to adjust my sound so that I don't have to sit too close to the mic. But at the same time, you know, get a good vibe going. All right. So anyway. Let's get to it. So on Friday night, what happened was, I hate to say it like that. What happened was I went to this event. Um, it was um, MC Bravado and Friends. Um, it was called Beats Not Bullets. Um, it was a dope event. It was dope. So what we're going to do is we're going to recap all of the things that I, I'm going to say the things I couldn't say that night because it was a loud environment, but that's to be expected. First of all, let me say this about the event. It was a sold out event. You hear me? Sold out. Filled to capacity. Sold the freak out event. Um, so just starting there. Now I am going to hold on. Let me. I might give you all a little bit of sound. Not too much, though, because... If you really want to hear what was going on, you got to go check the exclusive content. There is, There are bits and pieces where you can hear me speaking, but uh, it, was, it was shaky. It was loud and it was shaky. But let me start this story by saying, when we pull up to the event, I had a wardrobe malfunction. Now, that's not as soon as we got there. I was like, I had to go get my equipment from the car and then... Um, as we're standing outside chilling, you know, the pre the before the show gets started, we're standing out there and I had a wardrobe malfunction. Was it that embarrassing? Eh, kind of, but not. Kind of, but not. And I'm going to tell you why. One is because I'm very proud of my tie ties, but two, <laughs> but yes, I was kind of embarrassed because the dude that saw it was kind of like a thirst bucket on the low and try to act like he wasn't trying to get all conscious and righteous on me real quick. Not, dude, you, you didn't even have to pay attention to them, but you did. So, you know, whatever. Um, but it was all good. Fixed that. Then we went into the venue. Now, I had to set up a little bit. So a little bit of what you got on the live stream, which I'm going to throw that out real quick. I'm not going to press play. Oh, wait, wait. This is going to press play itself. Um, what you got a little bit of the live stream was that, um, hold on, um, I was trying to set up equipment, so that's part of what you might see, and then there are, but I wanted you guys to get a glimpse of what it looked like, you know, and this is, this part right here is actually when people are still coming in, like the show was about to begin, I think. I don't know where. I don't think I time snapped that. No, I didn't. Yeah, so this, all of that, we went dead for a minute. No, we played a little music right there. Let me stop. Because, again, as you can see, I was still trying to get adjusted. We had just walked in the venue. All right, so that's that. So you understand equipment was still being set up. Let's see what the sound was for the for this particular situation. Let's see what was happening. So we're going to play this. All right. So this is one of like the first acts that was going on. I know, like maybe two. Of them. But nonetheless, all right, let me turn that down a little bit. So 
I was trying to get things set up when I had to set up my internet. <laughs> I had to, everything had to flow, but it wasn't quite flowing the way I wanted it to flow just yet. But I could only give y'all an hour. So let's see where else we let's see. Keep it moving. As you, we weren't that deep in when all that happened. Now here's a little bit of what was happening. Let's go to the sound. I had a good like area that I was in because I didn't want to be too much in the crowd with my equipment and my cram um camera. Now at that time I had my um my Mac out. I had my Mac out and I had my camera and I had my tripod and all that. So this is what you're seeing right now, but we were live. Um but what I should have known because it's, it was a a hip hop and like all around show. It's really not gonna be and, and it was like a couple of people that I met that I wanted to do interviews with, but I couldn't do them too much because of the sound that was going on in the background, and I knew that, so I didn't even shoot my shot. So this is these. Okay. I'm going to turn that down for a little bit. At that moment right there, we had some artists on the stage. They were songwriters. It's like a group. Um, and like any show, I'm going to be honest with you, like any show that you may go to concert, the venue starts with um, like, you know, openers. And then it gets down to the closest. So we were still on that tip. It was a couple of people in there that was hating on like jumping in front of my camera um, it was some gents in there who were shooting videography for the situation, but did not understand that I was not there on that tip. I was actually doing a, sh a podcast and collecting stuff for this particular podcast is nobody else's footage. Like whatever what you, you're saying right here, that was my footage. Um, but you know, sometimes they think they're going to bully you in essence and now and there was also this girl in there all of this is going out i don't know i know i got it on camera but there was also this girl in there it was just getting a little bit too close oh okay so this this part right here <laughs> this gentleman right here is in the boom he was trying to make help me out with the um testing on the mic you feel me we gonna run through that though <laughs> um you'll get we'll get back to him in a few all right a little bit of me not really necessarily footage that we needed. Um, he was helping me out. You feel me? Again, helping me test the mic. <laughs> now, let's fast forward. Let's see what we had going on here. All right, so this is changing of the guards. On to the next artist. I don't really play. If you want to hear the music, I'm going to post it. But it's going to be in a section where it's only exclusive content. And this is just one video. This is from when I went live. That's not where the other footage that I'm going to show you in a few. But this is when I was actually live. As you can see, it has my my branding on it and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I was going live at this moment. But I knew that I could only give you guys an hour. And the, the um, event was way longer than an hour. So that was that. Um I'm going to turn this down for a little bit. Anyway, so, you know, at this point, vibes is vibes. Like I said, there was this one young lady. She got a little bit too close. But then I started thinking, like, dude, dude, it's things you could use as weapons. But we ain't on this tip. Oh, yeah. And then I went to commercial. <laughs> All right, let's get through this. All right, let's see what else we can get. Um at some point, I don't really have to replay this because if you really want to go watch it, you can go watch it. But, you know, the crowd was getting a little loose. You feel me? I was on that thing. Wasn't some? Okay, all right. That's the end of that. So let me get rid of this. Some people were good. Actually, that, that singer-songwriter click, um... They they had this one chick. She was decent. My problem was is this that I didn't like how she had to keep announcing that she was from New York. And it's like, I don't know, maybe she thought at some point everybody's going to be like, oh, yeah, you from New York. Don't get it twisted. We got mad love in New York. But down here, you know, it's a different it's a different level of understanding. And everybody ain't on that. Oh, you from New York. Uh, ooh, hoopla. I definitely am not 
I be, I have a child by a New Yorker, so it's just like, okay, great. <laughs> like, get to what you're going to do, which is if you're going to sing, then sing. That's what I want. I don't really want to hear about, oh, like, and she said it a couple of times. I, it's in that actual footage that I just showed you guys, but um, I'm not getting ready to keep going through it because it's unnecessary. But yeah, she said it a couple times. I'm sorry, I had to get rid of my phone. She said it a couple times, and in my mind, it was like, really? Okay, get to what it is that you're here to do. I need to be wild. And she had a decent voice, and the song was okay, but yeah, it is what it is. All right, so we're going to keep it moving, because there's more stuff that, ha that, that happened. I'm not going to play all the sound for everything, and I'm not going to show y'all everything, because I only got an hour in this show, and I have some other things to address while I'm at it. Because I'm telling you about everything that happened in, at that event. All right. So, next up, let's let's bring this down a little bit real quick. And let's go to this footage. Oh, sorry. Stuff that com comes on April 1st. Um, so, this right here. Let me see if I can get this off the screen real quick. Yeah, I can. I'm moving around. At this moment right here, um, people were networking, talking, chit chat and getting to know each other which is expected at, at a venue like i said this joint was sold out um it was not a hold on it was not a um for the like it wasn't a bullshit situation it was sold out you feel me like the people were in the building hold on y'all the people were in the building all right it's this man but people were in the building they was there for it i want the um actual player thing to go off the screen really quick so i'll give it a minute but as you can see people were in the building people were there they were enjoying themselves you're gonna see some more stuff as we go and that's gonna be a little bit more of that but the vibe was there hold on let's keep it moving all right so at this point i'm commentating let's see let me see what i said see it was so loud and you really couldn't hear me So, you can hear the music in the background. It was jumping. I'm going to turn that down for a second. It was jumping. People were out there. Like I said, the, the crowd was right. It was it was, it was was good. It was all good. Let's see what else we got here. Um, More people having... Oh, no, this is actually a performance. So, let's give you a tidbit of what was going on there. Oh, we got some likes. Who came in here? Hi, Ma. Love you. Um, and hi, Unc. Love you, too. All right, back to what I was saying. Anyway, so, it was a vibe. People were in there having a good time. Uh, you can't really hear that well because it was so loud, but it was great. I'm showing y'all, giving y'all a panoram of the people in there. I said the joint was sold out because it was. Um, all right, this might be some music time. This little shorty getting down. And I heard of her before. Um, yeah. The crazy part was I still had my Mac at this time. Oh, I, <laughs> all right. So at the same time, the one thing I didn't do in this venue was I didn't drink. I didn't drink. Well, this uh, old school philosophy, because I really didn't do this when um, I used to work mine, which is signs. Um, I didn't really drink until the end of the situation. Um, and I didn't drink that night either until we left the venue. Um, so it was all good. Like, I don't really, like, in my mind, if you're drinking, you can't really concentrate on the job that you're there to do. Um, and I was there to do a job. My job was to peep the scene, report on it, which I'm doing right now because I really couldn't do it then because it was too loud. Um, at the same time, I had equipment with me, so I really, well, at this point, I couldn't walk around like that. I had to stay with my equipment because it, none of my shit is cheap. Like, let's just start with that. Um, 
even in here. Like, I didn't take any of the equipment from in here. I just took my Mac and my camera and whatever cords and stuff that I needed to take. I didn't even take my P4, which is meant for that. But the reason why I didn't take it, because I wanted to be lightweight. Um, all right, so let me pause this real quick, because I actually want to... Um, let y'all hear a little bit of that. At this point, at that point, I was able to make my way in the, around the room because my my other equipment had been put up and now I was just working with my camera. Um, my camera and my phone. Which, I am mad at it. Like, when you go out to these kind of events, you know that you have to have more than one camera available because one could die and the other one's your backup. So at that point, I think I was just trying to preserve both my camera for the last... Um, the last, you know, performance, but at the same time, like, still capture some stuff. So I think this next bit of footage came from my phone and not my camera. So if it's shaky, sorry. Um, let's see what's happening. Um, let me turn up the sound. So this is where people, oh no, baby, still there. All right. This actually, this gentleman, um, I'm, I'm familiar with him a little bit. Also, um, Billy Live and his offspring on the stage. I don't have the fly right now, so I can't tell you their names. But yeah, when I finish adding in all the footage, um, all of their information to be up there. But it was a vibe. They was they was dope. Like they was some alright little dudes right there. I was alright with them. You know, I like to see the younger. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I gotta save that for last. I like to see the younger crowd come in and, you know, do what it is that they do because, like, I've been tra well, I had this one point in time where I was traveling the Baltimore music scene with a couple of different artists. Um, the first one was being Dirt Platoon. Um, and I did that, I was working with them for a few years, but then the other one was a dude named um, Waze. And I I rock with him for like a year on the business tip. And um it's always just a joy just to see, you know, artists from Baltimore trying to do their thing. Like I have no beef or corn with that. But let's see what they got going on. Cause I think it's like Yeah. All right. So now that we've gotten through all of those, you know, it was couple, it was like one, two three, four, maybe like four X before this particular part. This is my favorite part, personally. Um, the energy was in the room. The energy was in the building. The crowd was, it had a lot of crowd participation. Um, I had an opportunity to go backstage with them before the show. And I met um, MC Bra um, Bravado before anything went down. When I first got in the building, I was able to meet him. And I, I networked with a lot of people, a lot of people, and they was really, really cool people. Um, hopefully, I'll be doing some work with them in the near future. But anyway, this is the main event. I'm going to play a little bit. Work with me. Where we at on time? Wait, before I play this, I'm going to do this because we, we on a, we on a, yeah, I got to pay the bills around here. <laughs> Oh, listen. I'm going to give them a mid-roll right now. I'm going to play this. Um, Holler at them. Majestic behavior. Now, we had the the people, you know, the people who are in charge over there on the show, and we talked about the movie that they have coming out soon. I'm waiting for the, a trailer. Like I said, I got y'all, but please know that I'm, like, if I say I'm, as soon as I finish with this, I'm going to go do something. Please believe I'm going to do it, right? So when this was over, maybe not that night because I went to sleep, but the next the next morning, you know, they hit me, I hit them, and um, yeah, this is what I got. So check them out. Hold on. All right, now what I'm going to say to y'all is go check out their website. They got some nice gear over there. You feel me? They doing anything. They got candles. They got body butters. They got it all. Go check them out, y'all. Go holler at them people. They, they, that's basically fam. 
over there. So go holler at my peoples, show them some love. You might find something on the website you like, but do do what you gotta do. But anyway, let's get back to this footage. Um, mm, mm, mm. I couldn't wait to share this with y'all. Anyway, so let me put my joint back up here real quick. Big work with me. All right, so this at this moment right here, I'm not even, let me see if I can run just a few seconds. Okay, so let's just go right here. All right, now what you're about to experience is a little bit of the um, MC Bravado um, show. I'm going to give y'all bits and pieces. It was a good fucking show. Y'all go check it out. Like when I post it, you need to go check that joint out. I'm just giving you the commentary that I wasn't able to give you. Um, the ladies was in the building. They was dancing and all that good stuff. D listen, just listen. I'm going to give y'all a little bit. Hold on. It's coming. Be patient. All right, do you still the other gents? Hold on. <laughs> See, the energy was good. Dave was giving us vibes. I, I'm not worked with this gentleman who's actually in the ca camera right now as well. Not to toot my own horn, but my boo about to get up on the stage too. <laughs> Check him out. He's the drummer. Um, dope set though. See what I'm saying about the energy though? The energy was there. Like they made you feel like, oh, they about to do some shit, right? <laughs> they go well. Um, but they made you feel like they about to do some shit. And then just listen, I can't even just listen how they come in real quick. I ain't even gonna play all of this. I'ma just well all the same. I'm gonna play the video, but not all the same. But peep how they come in though. Gotta peep how they come in. Amen. Y'all, I always get thirsty when it comes to me talking, and I was definitely thirsty this night. I was like, where is the water? I had plenty of it, though. Didn't start drinking till after this. All right, I was trying to get in a good position because it's people everywhere. Listen how they come in, though. It was a vibe. Now, if it's shaky camera, y'all know that I was in a crowd of people. And this is my phone I'm recording from. I kept switching between my phone and my camera. Trying to just preserve, even though it's places to charge up, but not during the performance. So I was just trying to pre preserve at this point. So I went with my phone. But it was still a vibe. Check it out. Oh wow. <laughs> but it was a vibe. Everybody in there was chill. You feel me? Nothing crazy. I like the cause. That was one of them dudes that was trying to stop me from, you know what I mean? She like, he's like, nope, bitch, you going to see me in the camera. I don't know, whatever. This is a podcast. Listen. Way to work you want. You feel me? And I can't get y'all all the audio. But, <laughs> like I said, you want the exclusive content, you know where to go. I ain't even finished busting this, this month effort down yet. This is just what I wanted to have for y'all this evening because um yeah i wanted y'all to have something i because 
I know that Friday, like it was crazy on the audio. audio. Hold on, let me see what we got. But hold on, let's go with the introduction, and I'm gonna turn it down, and then I'm going to. Uh, yeah, it was a lot. So I'm out the um no more. <laughs> Can't give you no more right now. I don't know. I might throw some sound in there real quick. But it was a vibe. It was a look as you get here. The the crowd was there. They were here for it. They were participating. Um of course the best went last, but it was also his production as well. But you see, that's um MC Parado right there on the stage. It was a look. It was a vibe. Everybody was in there united as one like you know what we coming in this motherfucker to turn up and um you know do what do what it is that we do um whether you were an artist and you came to perform you came to drop some jewels and you know bless them with your talents um in my case i'm a podcaster i came to catch the show and be able to come back and talk about it later um, which I can't wait to do many, 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 many more of these. Um, so if you got a show, hold on, let me turn that down a little bit. If you got a show that you want me to come and record live from, I'm all for it. Like I am. You just have to make sure that you give me ample, um, uh, ample amount of time to be prepared for. One is I'm a mom. I don't just walk out on my kid just to be walking out on my kid. Like, I'm coming out to work. I'm coming out to work, but it, I, it's, you got to schedule me in advance. Um, two, um, I kind of want to be prepared. Like the next time, the next time I do one of these nice venues, which is um, actually May the twenty first, um, we're doing the Preakness Music and Arts Festival. Um, I'm gonna have every. I'm gonna have my P4 because I want to be able to capture the best sound that I can capture. Um, and it'll be a different environment. You feel me? But um, oh, listen, I gotta give y'all a little bit of music real quick. It's like. It really gave me like, even though Bravado is the artist, but the set kind of gave me a little bit of Beastie Boys to it, which I love the Beastie Boys, so it's not a problem for me, but <laughs> it gave me a vibe, y'all. I was like, okay, ow. We'll go back there playing the drums. Anyway, so yeah, the next one I think we got coming up is May the 21st, but back to this one. Um... I learned a lot of lessons in doing this one. This was like, since I've done this podcast, that's the first live event because, you know, we had COVID and all the stupid stuff going on. Um, and these streets ain't really safe out here. Um, but it was like the first live event that I did outside of my little home studio. So and considering it was, wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. Like, hot damn, it's pretty good. You know what I mean? But the next time I'll be a little bit better prepared. Um, and the next time we're going to be outside. So, yeah, that's a whole different look. Um, but again, nice crowd. Um, the vibe was chill. Everybody was chill. They made sure everybody was comfortable. They checked on people. They networked with people. Oh, my gosh, you can hear stuff in my background. Um, but the vibe was there. Um, the gentleman who introduced them, um, his name is Brandon. He was really, really cool. Showed me mad love while I was in there. Uh, like, yo, we got to link and do some shit. So I'm down for the cause. Um, I want to interview this young lady. Hold on, because what time is it? I have to be mindful of the time, people. Okay, so... I'm going to just let this bump while I talk about the young lady that was singing with um, MC Bravo. She's not on the stage yet, but you'll see her towards the end. Um, I would like to interview her because um, she's dope. She has an amazing voice. 
um, yeah, the vibe was there. He had his hype man with him, baby on the drums, DJ on the set, and it was a it, yeah, man, it was good. Hold up, let me see. The crowd, people record, you know what I mean? The crowd was there. Like I said, it was sold out. What do you want? I don't know many people that sell out here. And it's in like on a local talent. Nah. Some people do, some people don't. It's kind of like up in the air, but this is one of them situations where it was a sold out event. So, um, and the, like I said, the crowd participation was there. The people was there. They was here for it. They was excited. Um, and then afterwards, hold on. So I can't play everything. We're going to keep it moving. Cam camera people everywhere. I mean, it was a vibe. This young lady right here. This is who I want to interview as well. She has this dope voice. And so, yeah, I want to talk to her. Um, but then let's keep it moving. This was the end. <laughs> and then I'm going to finish it without video. This was the end. People, nobody was performing at this point. People were just all over the place talking and chopping it up. Um, dang, where the clip? Oh, um, where is the clip? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, here we go. I think this is afterwards. I'm waiting. There you go. See old girl right here in the joint. She over there getting it in. Like, they was having a good time, and that's what it's supposed to be at the end of the day. I think I had sat down because my feet was hurting and my camera was dying. So I sat down at the table and just started recording what was going on at the end of this joint. But, um, and waiting, waiting on, you know, whatever to happen to happen. Let me stop screen sharing the screen at this point. Um. Yeah, I was waiting on Hobby to pack up and, you know, so we could get out of there because we had children we had to get home to. But all in all, it was a good, great, dope-ass event. I can't wait to do the next one. The next one, I'm going to be way more prepared. I wasn't that, I wasn't really badly prepared this time. It's just, it was a lot of things going on. And I knew at that point, it was no way that I was going to get the interviews and all of that stuff. So I'm going to try to make it a point to like, you know, try to hook up some interviews and shit with some people. Um, because I it was a lot of talent in the room. And when there's talent, your girl is here to pick up on it and bring it to y'all and let y'all know about it. It's just what it is. Now, like I said, afterwards, let me play this commercial and take a water break and then I'm going to get to the nitty gritty of things. Because something else happened and I didn't like that it happened, but it's all good. Hold on. Listen to this. What does getting it all done actually look like? A lot like this. Meet your new workspace. Oh, uh, I'm not sharing the right screen, am I? Mm, let's try this again. Meet your new workspace. Your whole team, right here. Let me just, uh, sorry, Karen. All those projects on hold, just a click away from complete. Success is closer than you think. It's actually over there, right next to your success manager. It's built to expand as needed. The perfect freelancer for every project? Yes, please. Go ahead. You can use the F word as much as you want here. This is your selection of global freelance talent that never sleeps. All vetted for their excellence and their expertise. Love you, Kevin. Only thing left? Add your favorites to your list and share with your team. Okay, not all of them. Leave it to them to tackle all your business needs, leaving you free. Well, at least free to get more done. That's how fast they work. Ready to transform your business? Oh, that looks good. Love that. Approved. Oh, still sharing my screen. I'm back, but we got to pay the bills. <laughs> and if you ain't dropping donations, you really can't complain about it because you're not dropping donations. But let me talk about that real quick. All right. So there are several ways for you to drop a donation, right? You can drop it in my cash app. That's available in the description. There is a link that says exclusive content in the description as well. Now, when you go to, when you hit that link, it's three options that you have. You can drop a one-time donation. 
you could drop drop reoccurring donations or you can um actually become a subscriber and um you'll get all the exclusive content anyway because you're a subscriber and that's what just saying so when i say like share and subscribe know that i really literally mean subscribe let me put that on the screen real quick Mm -hmm. that's what i mean because that's where all the the dope really dope shit is going to be at from now on i can't play everything on youtube because youtube be hating but it will be available to you i will make sure it's available to you but what you have to do is like if you're going on Facebook or YouTube, you have to like and share. Um, if you're on YouTube, you, you can subscribe. If you're on um, Facebook, you could like it and like the page in itself. Um, I, I link treat, um, link takes you to all the wherever we are. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, um, wherever you want to go. Website, it'll take you there. All right. So that's that. Um, but yes, it was going down our way in these, in these Baltimore city streets and it was fun. We had a good time. So afterwards, then we left the venue, um, <laughs> we left the venue, had one and got a, uh, to go drink. And then, you know, a little bit something on the side to take in the house because we don't really drink outside in these streets. And then, we, you know, had a good night afterwards. And then, um, Next day came and I overstepped my bound boundaries. And I wanted to talk about that because I'm one about I'm one for taking accountability for my actions, right? And us as ladies, sometimes, especially if you have a good man and he spoils you from time to time, you, you take advantage of how he loves you. And I I'm I am guilty as charged because I did it this this weekend and, and I don't really realize what I had did until Sunday, because that was Friday, Saturday. I was with him all day Saturday. Okay, Sunday. I didn't realize how it affected him and how he felt about it until Sunday. And for that, I, I'm I'm going to save my apology. I'm not going to give it to y'all. I'm going to give it to him. Um, It made me realize some things about how I got to behave as his woman. But ladies, sometimes we do have a tendency to to you know, overstep our boundaries and it's not good. We got to work on that. I'm taking accountability for my actions. I'm not going to tell y'all what it is that I did. I didn't do anything like disloyal, like cheat or nothing like that. But I did, you know, overstep my boundaries a little bit. And so because of that, and I know that I did that, I had to sit back and reflect about what had just happened and then take account of, uh, accountability for it. Um, but it is what it is. You know, we don't always get it right. But the important part is making sure that you get it together. But, um, and and I looked at it. I understand. I understand the assignment. It is what it is. <laughs> totally understand the assignment. Now, I am going to show some love. But I hate doing it on this computer. And the crazy part is, hold on, y'all. I'm looking for my other mouse. The crazy part is, because I never keep it on the desk anymore. I always drop it down for some strange reason. Not a good habit. Um, but the crazy part is, you know, like sometimes when you do shit, sometimes you really can be oblivious to what the fuck you're doing. I mean, the thing is, I think as long as you understand where you got it fucked up, you might not understand it in the moment in which you're taking the actions. But once you sit down and you realize what it was, you know, <laughs> just take accountability for it. I have yet to talk to my husband about it, but I am on my on my way to talking about it because as grown folks, we should be able to talk about anything, especially when you say you love somebody. You should be supposed to be able to talk, talk to them about it. I don't know. If this one keeps taking as long as it's taking, I'm going to have to do it for my Mac because I don't have time. Well, I do have time. I always got time because <laughs> um, I don't have patience. Let's correct that. Patience, patience, patience. Sometimes it's my friend. Sometimes it's not. But I'm going to show some love real quick. 
And maybe, I don't know, because time is looking a little shaky, but maybe I can get to, see, that's what I don't like, because now it just decides to come up. Let's see what's happening. What's happening? Um, hmm. You know, lately the internet has been jumping kind of crazy. It's not making me the happiest girl in the world, but you know, it's life. Um, so y'all, we got love all over the world. And I appreciate all the love that we get all over the world because without you guys, I wouldn't really be doing this. You know, like who knows what I could prob would probably you no, know, I would still probably be try well, I still focus on marketing to this day, but I would probably be a lot more frustrated because then I wouldn't have the other businesses that I have as well. Like marketing is one. This entertainment hub that I got going on is another. And then, yeah, I sell Avon, but it's my business. You see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so it is what it is, but who knows? But anyway, as far as this podcast is concerned, a lot of people around the world give us love. And so I want to give them love back. So shout out to the United States. Hey, babies, I love you. Shout out to France. I love you. Germany, I love you. India, I love you. Brazil, hi, babies, I love you. Netherlands, I love you. Singapore, I love you. South America, I love you. United Kingdom, oh my gosh, I like how y'all came through out of nowhere. But I love you. Oh, I love you guys. Um, Spain, I love you. Philippines, I love you. Belgium, I love you. Australia, I love you. Japan, I love you. Mexico, I love you. Ireland, I love you. Nepal, I love you. Mauritius, I love you. Israel, wow. And that was amazing when I saw that on the list in the first place. I love you. Canada, I love you. And Hong Kong, I love you. I'm only going to give the top of the list because... It's too many on this list for me to name. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I almost got it messed up, y'all. And Russia. Russia. I love you. I'm sorry. Now, I know it's a lot going on between you and Ukraine, but I'm not, I can't, listen, I'm not, I can't judge people on their actions. And I can't say that my my listeners from Russia is the reason why this is going down. I can't say that. And I won't say that. And I will never say that. And, um, you know. But don't come like don't think for a second that I don't have empathy for the people of Ukraine because I do like I don't think anybody should bully anybody into anything. You feel me? I think those days of us doing that kind of bull crap should be over. Like it's so medieval. Oh my gosh. Anyway, let me um go to my cities though. Columbus, Ohio, I love you. Um San Jose, California, I love you. Baltimore, my... Well, first of all, San Jose is day ones. I love you. Um, Baltimore City, my city, your city. It's like, no, my city, though, I love you. Um, I love you, Baltimore. I do. That's why I'm working on these little mini docs, but I'm just trying to balance all my time and get everything together. France, I will never butcher the name of this city, but I love you. I love you. Um, Spring Valley, Nevada. Hi. Love you too. Frankfurt, Germany. Hey, Germany. I see you, boo. Um, Washington, Virginia. Hi. Ashburn, Virginia. Hello. Um, oh my gosh. And I just named, I just remembered the name of the spot that I wanted to bring up, but it I was it's in the side conversation. But I'm gonna keep the city in my name, which is um in my head, which is Lorton, Virginia. I got to keep that in my mind. But anyway, um, Las Vegas, Nevada. I love you. Hi, babies. Norton Shores, Michigan. I love you. Chicago, Illinois. I love you. Borman, Oregon. I love you. Atlanta, Georgia. Hi, ATL. I love you. Yo, these cities like Deshaun and ATL, man. Y'all my heart. Las, Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah. Let's go. I love you. Owens Mills, Maryland, which is close to where I live. Um, Boulder City, Nevada. Pikesville, Maryland, also close to where I live. <laughs> I love you, Philly. I love you. Like, oh my gosh, y'all come through with the come through and I love you guys for it, man. If I could share this list with y'all, I would, but it's just way too many cities. And, but I love it. Don't ever get it twisted. I love it. 
man, Valencia, Spain. Oh my gosh. It's like, man, yeah, um, Cheshire East. Um, man, <laughs> like it's just, man, I could never even give y'all all the cities and all the areas. Um, but if I could, I would. It's just too way too many. Um, but I adore them. That that my friends is my listening audience. I also got big love for um, hold on, those who come through and check just check the podcast on the visual tip. You don't gotta watch it right away. You can watch the playback. I'm cool with that. I don't got no beef with that. Just come through, show some love. Let me know you in the building. You feel me? Um, that means everything to me. But I have some things I have to say. I did not report any mo- news today. I just wanted to give you commentary from an event that I went to. But if by chance I ever report news, know that it's alleged. We don't have all. We we weren't there. We just report what we're able to report. But know that when we report it, we report it in its true form, like not making up stories. We're getting down, we're investigating and finding the truth somewhere along the lines. Um, we are on all streaming sites. Yeah. Spot, um, Spotify, um, iHeartRadio, oh, man, iTunes, Amazon Music. <laughs> just think about, just type in Ambitiously, the podcast. You can type it in any streaming site. We're going to pop up, all right? Um, if you want to be on the show or if you want to, you know, have talk to me about advertisement, whatever it is, hit us up at ambitiouslythepodcast at gmail.com. Now, I did say that I would start opening, like setting a link in the box and letting people come in. Um, But I'm scared to do that because who knows what people might come up here and say. I don't know. Some people scare me. But anyway, remember to come through, join the conversation, drop a link Um, because I'm always up for it. Um, as long as not, it's not some crazy, crazy lunatic coming up here talking trash. Um, check out our website, www.ambitiouslyentertainment.com. Again, that's www.ambitiouslyentertainment.com. Um, we here for the love, y'all. We, we want to talk to y'all. Y'all be acting like y'all want to talk to me, even though y'all did. I know y'all did. It's like, I'm joking. I don't know what y'all want to do. Oh, I also know that if by chance... I ever play music on this podcast, guess what? Guess what? I need y'all to know something. If I ever play music on this podcast, it's because guess what? (laughs) I have full permission. Mm -hmm. The girl goes and secure the permission because she's trying to secure the bag. She ain't out here trying to just be living reckless and stuff. That's not how I get down. I am going to put the um, social media information below, but I'm not going to say it because if you hit the link tree link, in the description above or below, it'll take you wherever you need to go. And that's that. But yeah, y'all, Friday night was a vibe, though. Um, Saturday, like, Saturday was a vibe, too. It's just Sunday I realized I had fucked up. But yeah, Friday night was a vibe. It was a good vibe. It was fun. Um, I enjoyed myself very much. I was grateful to have the opportunity to be in the building. <sighs> I got to use my press pass. <laughs> so I was like, oh yeah, they did do COVID test. COVID test um, um, they wanted your um, card at the door. Um, they weren't, it was, I guess, the owner. And I guess because of the environment, it was um, 1700 North Charles Street, but they wanted to check that at the door. And um, yeah, but I got to use my press pass and that's what I got it for. Like, that's what it's here for. <laughs> I'm just saying. So it was a it was a vibe, y'all. All right. So with that being said, I love you guys. I'm not gonna stay up here too too long. I gotta handle some business. Oh, y'all! I'm so excited because this summer, my baby girl, she's only ten, but she's gonna have like a summer little job. She's gonna come out in the field with mommy and help her push these products, and she ain't even mad at it. She's gonna be my little assistant, and I'm gonna pay her. And she just would do it just because she wanted to spend time with me. She liked the idea of making some money and hanging out with mommy. So I was like, let's put it together. Um, so that's going to be fun. I don't have a lot of things planned for this summer for me and the kid. But yeah, she getting a little, she's getting some responsibility in her life. And I love it. Um, but anyway, 
I'm not going to stay on here much longer. It's about time for me to get up out of here. Um, let me give you my recap. F Friday night was a vibe. It was a vibe. It was a vibe. And I can't wait to do some more of these. But um, anyway, I always end the show on this note. And I'm going to continue to mind your fucking business. Everybody business, not your business. It's dangerous to be out here minding people's business. Mm, excuse me. Mm, it's very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Let me mind the business. And then I'll bring you the business. I'll bring you the tea. I'll bring you the gossip. And then that way you can stay out of trouble. You don't got to worry about it. Um, Love on your babies. Hug them. Kiss them. Tell them how much you adore them. How much you, you just can't live without them. How great they are. And that they the next whatever. President, doctor, lawyer, whatever they going to be. Just let them know astronaut in my case but yeah let them know i'm um, staying in lane because what happens when you get out of your lane a collision happens it's not good and nobody's gonna be happy about it um and be careful out here y'all take care i love you guys and have a freaking hold up <laughs> have a freaking amazing awesome night um we'll be back on fire friday join me